A new Reuters Ipsos poll shows that two-thirds of Americans believe that men are generally paid more than women for the same work, and half of Americans would like to see the federal government do something about it. I'm Amanda Becker, a political correspondent for Reuters. The poll comes at a time when a popular talking point among Democrats is that women only make 77 cents for every dollar that a man earns. The poll showed that 51% of Americans believe the government should be doing more to ensure equal pay. 67% of Democrats thought the federal government should be doing more, and 36% of Republicans felt the same. You saw the party differences when Congress considered the Lilly Ledbetter Fair Pay Act, which Obama signed into law in January 2009. Democrats universally supported the plan for the most part. It didn't gain much Republican support. To say, don't you someday want to see a woman president of the United States of America? Hillary Clinton hasn't officially declared that she's running for president yet, but she has in some appearances in the past week or so and in some coming up, emphasized women's issues, which is a difference from her 2008 campaign when she really didn't talk about being a woman at all. In a gala dinner Tuesday night for the group Emily's List, which works to elect pro-choice Democratic women, Clinton emphasized fair pay, glass ceilings, health care, child care, medical leave, other pay issues related to pay that she said weren't just women's issues but were America's issues. We can wage these struggles and emerge victorious. And the way she's talking about these issues this time around is as broad economic issues that affect everyone, not just women. But the fact that she's already talking about these issues this time around shows that it's probably going to be something she continues when she starts campaigning. And maybe some of the Republican candidates will start weighing in. The poll showed that equal pay is an issue that won't be going away anytime soon. Candidates are going to have to deal with this issue over the next couple of years as they vie for the White House.